So, welcome guys, uh, welcome to JBoss EFT7 and my name is Vida. So today uh, I'm going to discuss the batch CLI. So how to go with the batch CLI, how to execute the batch CLI in the JBoss EFT7 and what is the requirement for the batch CLI. Okay, on this, so we are going to execute the CLI commands to update the profiles in the JBoss. So sometimes you are going to execute the multiple okay multiple configurations at a time you want to execute it okay generally we are going to execute from the file okay so so there is a command one we executed and the command two and command three there is a bunch of commands you are going to execute it from a file so this file you executed the CLI so all these comments are executed successfully okay so, but there is a case there is a case so there is a command is success and the second command is also success but there is a case so somehow there is a command is gets failed there may be any reasons okay maybe a spelling mistake or maybe it's a command itself is a wrong okay so when it trying to execute this case okay the path CLI will going to revert back the changes which has happened previously in this batch of commands so first command is success updated in the profile and the second command is also updated in the profile but third command is failed maybe any reason so before executed commands should revert back to normal so when you execute the bunch of commands all commands should be success then only it will going to get update the profile or else it will revert back to this to execute like this we need to give the patch before starting the command we should give the patch at the end the run patch so this is how we should go. So this is generally one example scenario. So there is a command. You given the multiple commands. But this command you given uh, DB settings or uh, DB uh, no, configurations of DB. So at the end you are trying to do uh, test connection. So you are trying to do the test connection at the end. But somehow in the execution of the DB thing, so maybe you given a wrong username and password. The test connection is failed at the end. So I don't want to uh, get update this in the profile. So when DB connection is success, good, then it's get updated. Okay. So like this we can execute it. Right now I'm going to show you the very basic example. So we have, let me go with the two basic uh, commands. So one command, the first command is going to success and second command is going to get failed. So at this moment, the first update should revert back. So that's it. Okay. This first command, so I'm trying to change the HTTP port. By default, HTTP port is 8080. So I want to change this 8180. And here, let me go with AJP port. So AJP port by default is 8009. I want to change this to uh, some other 88109. So the first attempt, okay. So if we give the wrong here, but this gets updated. Okay, let me even go with uh, no multiple. So, so the first case. So go with uh, let me execute this and uh, then you can get understand that so 7.0 jboss and build direct so i'm going to start my jboss so simple standalone and this is my jboss and standalone configuration so let me go with this is standalone go to at the end now you can see here so here is http and the ajp ports are here so let me change this okay from the cli normally okay so how to change what is the command? So let me connect to the CLI. JBoss is started. Yes. So this is my CLI trying to connect. JBoss.sh. I can ever connect. I can ever controller. So 32.160.31.31.31. So this is my uh, port and the host okay connected so now i'm going to change normally so the normal way so to get the command okay so socket bindings so sockets is equal to so here so http here this port http and write attribute so here i'm going to change the port and the value is equal to 8180 so let me export this okay it's success the outcome is going to get success okay the same command next so i'm going to update the port of ajp so 8109 so make sure here ajp 
execute this success. So in the both the case, the command is success. Okay, let me take this command. I'm going to create a file here inside the bin directory, uh, ports.cli. So this is my first command tool, and this is my second command. Okay, cool. But now the ports is already changed. So if you see here, let this and open this. 8109-8180. So this is port change. This command. This is a normal loop. So okay, let me do revert back. 8080-8009. So now, so when I execute like this, both commands are going to execute because it's a right. Okay, both are successfully syntax is right. So going to execute it. Okay, so there is a case. Uh, let me uh, give some wrong intentionally something or spelling mistake or whatever. Okay, so I give the wrong command. So the now if I execute it, so what will happen? Okay, so see here, this is the my uh, and the file. Let me take from the file bin directory forge.cl. The now what will happen? Get like this. The first command is success and it is get going to get updated in the file. And the second command is failed. The first command is updated. If you see here, so this is 8180. Close and open, it is going to get 8080. So it is updated. Okay, so this is actually the normal behavior. When you execute multiple commands inside the file and execute it, this is syntactically right and this is wrong. So what I want to do is the batch CLI. So if you execute both this under the batch, if this command is success and any one fails, so whatever is updated should revert back. That's all. Okay. So that is let me execute this by changing the ports. So now I will change this 8180. 8180. Okay. So but before this, you will give a batch. So this is important to implement this batch run batch that's it and now see here CLI when I execute it the first command is success and it will get revert back see here operation failed and was rolled back that means the command which we give CLI uh, ports.cli ports.cli so this is not gets updated it's updated and revert back so 8180 it remains 8080 it's a back to HH. So that's what the advantage behind this batch CLI. So group of commands you can execute in a file in between the batch and the run batch. If any one command fails, so rest of the commands which is executed, it will going to get revert back to normal, roll back to normal state. So that's it about this uh, batch CLI. Okay. The next session we are going to meet. Thanks for watching this video.